buffering for free easy steps. Now, did you know this is a crazy stat that I, I really do believe, but 99% of buffering issues is usually your fault. <laughs> it's not anybody else's, but your fault. 99%. I'm like, really? 99%. Um, of course, you get that 1%. You know, you can't be can't be horrible all the time. So this video is going to be the easiest steps free steps of how you how, how to fix your buffering now of course there's going to be ways to upgrade stuff and that's paid how do i upgrade my 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 equipment to not buffer so this video is going to be how to troubleshoot all the stuff for free we're going to jump straight into this one the very first thing i want to show of course is going to be your fire stick now a lot of people they don't do this but if you are buffering First thing you should do is go to the app, do a clear cache or stop, go to your device and unplug the power. Um, you could unplug it from the TV, but when we say make sure to unplug your device, we mean the, the power, not just not. No, don't unplug it and be like, OK, I unplugged it. Now what? Don't do that. Unplug the power. Wait about five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. Plug it back in and then plug it back into the TV and then open up your app and see if that fixed the issue. Um, I've had several people say, hey, I unplugged it from the TV and it's still not working. It's like, did you unplug the power? So make sure you unplug the power. So first step is clear cache or stop, unplug the power of the device, plug it back in and then open up the app and see how it's running. Now, if it's still buffering the first thing i would do is i the, the next thing i would do is i would check the a speed test i would go to uh, speed uh, speedtest.net on the device itself not on your phone not on a computer whatever device you are buffering on you need to check the speed test on that device now some of these apps have dedicated streaming speed tests that you can do so make sure you guys go to that app or if you have to download a separate app into the device then that's what you got to do now real quick what's the difference between cache and data why not clear data why just clear cache now when you clear data the clear data clears out your username your password it clears everything off of the app now, if some of these apps have a library, let's just say like Netflix, you could save movies and TV shows. It's that's using an external service to save your information. It doesn't save it on the stick itself. If you clear data, it'll save your list. It'll just wipe out your username and password. Now, cache. What cache is um, sometimes from watching too many movies or TV shows, it holds bits and pieces of information. And imagine like cookie crumbs, like like you're eating cookies and everything just falls down. There's just a bunch of cookie crumbs everywhere. That's cash. All that all that little stuff there is just cash and is just sitting there. Um, so if you clear cash, it'll save your username and password, um, but it will just wipe out anything, any kind of session that it was holding. It'll wipe that out. So clear cash for stop for stop just kills whatever app you're using the session and plug and then replug the power back in now step number two if that still is your issue repeat part one and do this unplug the power of your modem and router wait a few seconds your modem and router wait a few seconds now plug the power of the modem first Wait a few additional seconds and then plug the power of your router. Your modem is, is what's bringing in the internet to your router. So do the modem first, router second. Once you've done that, go to your streaming device and do the, the clear cache again, four stop and unplug the power and replug the power. That way, everything is going to be absolutely fresh. Now, let's just say you're still buffering. You're still buffering after that. Check the connections of everything make sure everything is connected tightly make sure the ethernet ports are all in um, if you need to check your your phone if you need to check a different device to make sure you do have internet do that now if you do have internet but on your device you're just like it seems like i don't have internet check a different app within the same device check something else within the same device to see if that device has having any kind of hardware issues um, that you might not know about. So check that out. Now, the next thing to do is 
when you are watching something, this is something that you should know what you're doing. Um, if you're watching something on YouTube and you've never buffered, um, you're like, Hey, I'm watching this and it's not buffering. I would, I like just, it, all you have to do this is once check it and see what your internet speed is. Let's just say I pay for hundred megabytes download speed. I'm not having any issues. I'm like, cool. Let me check my internet speed on the device. Great. I have about 80 megabytes download speed out of the hundred that I pay. That's fine. I'm not buffering. I don't need the full hundred if I'm not having issues. Once I do that, keep watching whatever you're watching on YouTube or whatever. If you begin to buffer, stop it right away and run that speed test immediately. If the number is different, and I mean if it's lower, chances are your ISP might be throttling you. Um, they, they, you might be getting throttled. So if you do, you might have to use like a VPN and all that stuff. And I got that information below. Again, this video is how to troubleshoot all the free stuff. Now, let's just say you're like, okay, I wasn't buffering and now I'm buffering all of a sudden. Um, the one thing a lot of people do, and this is actually kind of interesting, um, and I, I've talked to several people during CES about Wi-Fi antennas and how all of this stuff works. A lot of people like to put their, um, the, well, their fire sticks, they, they like to put them in like this, right? You know, they plug it in right into the TV and it's literally right next to the TV you could get some interference or it could be blocking one of the signals. I always use the extender just to give it some kind of, of breathing space. You know, if I do this, I have some, I have a little bit of a distance between where my, my TV is and my fire stick. Even if it is like an inch or two, it's something and it's better than nothing. So the other thing to do is if you're like, well, I have plenty of space between my fire stick and my TV, look around you with your the other devices that are using Wi-Fi. If it's using Wi-Fi and everything's way too close to each other, too bunched up, then it might be it might be causing cross interference. Um, one of the things within again CES, I've talked to several people who who work with like their different Wi-Fi antennas and stuff, is a lot of people they are still used to doing everything the old school way where they put, you know, your, your VCR, your DVD player, your, you know, whatever it is, your, your console, your shield, your, they just stack everything on top. Um, and people probably don't have a VCR anymore, but you know what I'm saying? Um, they just stack everything on top of each other like that. And that could cause interference. Now, back in the day, the reason why there wasn't interference because everything was hardwired within that stack of stuff. The other thing is you could get extremely lucky and, and be like, well, I've never buffered with all my stuff stacked above anyway. Leave it alone. If you're on Wi-Fi, leave it alone. Now, the next thing is sometimes I've heard this, too. You'll have a fire stick on the furthest point of the house that never buffers. And then you'll have a fire stick right next to the to the router and you're buffering, even though it's right next to it. And even your signal is better than the one way up there reason for that is you're getting some kind of interference there's some sort of interference that's happening between your router and your and your streaming device so you might you know it, it could be something as simple as if it's like this move it over like that and if and if that's the issue move it over like that to the other side just move it around a little bit to see if the connection gets a little bit better and if it doesn't, it might be that your device's hardware might be going bad um, or you might just have too much information on that device, which brings me to my next point. With some of these devices, you might only have eight gigs of memory, 10 gigs of memory, 16 gigs. Um, I should call it a storage of, of internal storage. Um, if you have this internal storage there, we always say two gigs of free space. Um, typically with fire sticks, you get about five gigs of internal storage to play with, even though they're advertised as eight with all their system stuff that they have, you're left with about five. And some people like to stuff it in with as many applications as possible. Leave it alone. Do not stuff too many things that you don't need. And if you, you're like, I need all this stuff. You need another device. That's going to hold more memory. Like, a, like the fire cube, check, check the device, go to your settings, go to your storage and see how much available memory you have left available storage you have left if it says you're left with one gig 
then chances are that could be your issue. Start deleting stuff. You might have to do a factory reset and start over. So wanted to give you guys some basic stuff here. Um, let me know if I missed anything that's free to stop buffering in the comment section below. Post it. Let me know if any of this stuff has worked for you. Um, and yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get to the point where we're no longer buffering. So with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.